And that decision will start to unfold in less than an hour from now. Polls open at 7, and we're making sure that your vote counts. Our morning reporter, Wanye Reese, joins us live from a North Macon polling location with everything you need to know. Good morning, Wanye. Well, good Tuesday morning, Aaron and Caitlin. Right now, I'm at Mabel White Baptist Church out here in North Macon. And believe it or not, when I arrived here this morning around 5 o'clock, there are already people in line. But I want to make sure before you head out to the polls that you have everything that you need to know. So I have some steps that are as easy as one, two, three. Go ahead and take a look at your screen. First things first, you need to make sure that you bring a valid ID, including a state driver's license, a federal ID, or even a U.S. passport. And to expedite your voting process, you can find a Sample ballot on the Secretary of State's website and even at your local polling location. And remember, the polls are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So if you're in line before 7 o'clock this evening, you will be able to vote. Now, we did get a chance to speak with Miss Janetta Watson. She's a supervisor of the Bibb County Board of Electors, and she has this advice before you head out. Take a listen. Take that and know where their polling location is and go to the correct poll to vote. If they have any questions whatsoever, uh, they can be offered a provisional ballot if they don't have ID or if there's any question of registration. We're not turning voters away. We'll let them vote a provisional ballot and then we'll check it to see if they're eligible to vote and we will count the ballot if it's valid. Now, if you live in Bibb County and you don't have an ID, you can actually go to the Board of Elections office off of Pianoa. All you have to do is just have some documents, some Social Security card, birth certificates, and they could actually issue you an ID. And Aaron and Caitlin, once again, we are verifying your vote. So if you run into any issues at the poll that the poll manager cannot solve, we want you to reach out to us, call our newsroom, message us on Facebook, and we will find solutions for you. But for now, live in Macon, Wanye Reese, 13 WMAZ News. Alrighty, thank you, Wanya. That's actually really good advice to make sure you know exactly where your polling location right. is so you don't have to do all that traveling back and forth. But for a look at what's going to be on your ballot, check out our voting guide on 13WMAZ.com.